shall be called wonderful. And we're back now. He, they, the angel said, and you'll call him Jesus. <laughs> but, but here he's also saying, and you'll call him. <laughs> but, but what's the him? What's the him? And so we move beyond Christ the person and we move into Christ the principle. And when we move into the principle, we begin to see the divinity of God. Him, God, shall be called wonderful. Counselor. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. Hey. This is who we now represent. This is who we represent. And so quickly, what, what happens when we create room in the end? When I create room in my end, when I open up my mind to see God the way that God is challenging me to see Him, to receive God, the way that he is challenging me to receive him. Different dispensation. They've never seen Jesus. They're awaiting something new. I'm going to throw it out there. They're waiting a new thought to happen. They're waiting for something to come to give sense to old stuff. Give new credence. New definition. New understanding to old principles. And so they create room in the end to receive this new thing. My God. And every new thing is going to have some old haters, but that's a whole other story. But what <laughs> happens? Number one, we clear space not only in our heart, but also in our mind for God. When we make room in the end, when we create room. We, we, we make room not just in our emotional place, but also in our mind. Our consciousness now becomes the link between heaven and earth for this earthly vessel. Now I can see him. Now I can do some different things. Now I can see scripture in a new way. I can see Christ as a new thought leader. As he comes and he says to them, uh, I know Moses told you this way, but now I come and say, 